Well, with Easter Sunday this weekend, the city of Huntsville is still encouraging everyone to practice social distance distancing as they give more updates on the virus. Our Kayla Carlisle has the latest. COVID-19 has proven it can impact anyone, no matter of age, gender, or race. But today, Dr. Karen Landers of the Alabama Department of Health said folks in the African-American communities need to take extra precautions due to their increased risk factors such as diabetes, heart and kidney disease, and pulmonary disease. So it's not necessarily that African-Americans are more susceptible to COVID, but rather this population has a higher risk of factors that reduce their ability to have the best response for COVID. About half of COVID-related deaths in Alabama come from the African-American population. Two-thirds of deaths are people over the age of 65. Dr. Lander says men also have a higher death rate in Alabama right now, with two-thirds of deaths being male. Now, we've not really been able to characterize that other than perhaps women do tend to seek medical care earlier than men do. City leaders say community members have helped make a difference during this time. They reminded folks that each precautionary step taken can potentially change a life. Keep in mind, 15 people uh, that were inpatients at Huntsville Hospital, uh, some were very critical, have now been released. So what we are doing here in Madison County is making a difference. And to help continue making a difference, a donation day will be held on April 13th to accept any gloves, gowns, or other health care supplies for professionals all across the state. Anyone wishing to donate these kind of supplies can deliver them to our local Chamber of Commerce. For more information about today's briefing, head to rocketcitynow.com. Putting the Valley first, I'm Kayla Carlisle, WZDX News.